please come get baby kids. They just bad as hell. Sheesh. Look at him. He just walking up to the police, just swinging at him, barefoot, hey, going knucklehead. I bet he know how to shoot a gun and all that. Probably pick it up and hold it sideways. All of the water guns he play with, all the dart guns he play with, he hold them joints sideways. What in the world? Like, where's where's the parents? Where's the father? Who whose kid is this? Where's the big brother? Where's whoever? Who's watching this youngin? Before I put my foot in his little ass, come get him. Come get your come get your little your little pit bull. Y'all raising a little pit bull right now y'all just letting them go wild put that youngin on a leash hey what's up you all welcome back i'm van and we are all the lfr family thank y'all so much for clicking play man um so today i wanted to show y'all a video right and this video is uh it's 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 a little sad i'm gonna be honest with you it just shows some youngins at an extremely young age who are treating police in a manner well they acting grown they acting grown they cussing at the police they swinging at the police and i'm talking about these are toddlers it's toddlers and then they have a teenager i guess that's their big brother or something like that and what they're doing is just cussing at the police they're they're talking about them you know joning on them you know playing the dozens with the police talking about their shoes, talking about how ugly they are, you know, throwing the expletives here and there. And you're like, man, how do kids learn how to talk like this, bro? Why are they so upset at such a young age? Well, y'all about to see exactly that, man. If I say anything that gets on that, that seems, seems a little harsh, forgive me. Please forgive me, bro. Um, I'm going to let you know right, right now that um, I might not be able to control some of the things that come out of my mouth because I'm looking at this um, as a father and as a concerned man who's who's considering the future of our of our nation. You know what I mean? And um, just considering the future of these individuals that you're about to see. Like, it's, it's scary. It's, long, it's like if they stay like that. It's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And then only only bad can happen from that. So I'm, I'm going to shut up for the next two minutes. I'm going to let this thing play. And y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know about this in the comments. All right, here we go. So basically what y'all, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at. I'm going to be honest with you. This right here, and I'm speaking from a place of from love man who's looking out for these kids i grew up in areas where you know we used to be outside with with no adults looking over us a lot of times and i used to be bad too i wasn't like that but this right here is sad you see the you see the little baby right there. there's a baby right there in a pamper that's also just out there and then the little toddler is the worst one keep on saying shut up b to the police um and then the kids behind them look like probably 10 year old is a, is behind them and um not about a seven year old is behind them and look like about a 13 14 year old is behind them that's probably the biggest of them all in the poll and and for some strange reason what i don't know what this baby has seen or why they think it's cool to you know cuss at the police and swing at the police and try to take something out their hand and whatnot but clearly we don't see any adults anywhere around this right here is 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 <laughs> It's messed up. It's, it's messed up. I'm really controlling my tongue tonight. It's messed up. Um, this is the future of the areas that they're in. This right here is, you can say it's mental health, bad leadership, bad guidance, um, or lack thereof, totally. But imagine if this gets worse, this youngin is going to go to school and do this in school. Not going to respect authority at all. Clearly, none of them respect authority. And they think it's cool. And when their parents hear about this, this doesn't mean that their parents are not going to hear about it and they're not going to discipline them for this right here. But clearly they're not going to make any moves against it because they all think it's okay to talk to the police in this way. We don't get in front of this. These youngins will be in jail or dead pre um, prematurely 
at a young age, extremely young age, even worse than that, they will make somebody else's children victims of their messed up mentalities. At some point, man, we need to we need to take this seri- take this extremely seriously. And there's a lot of people who will see stuff like this and they will blame it on systemic racism. Like the young man that I was talking to the other night, and he was saying that this right here is systemic. It's because of this and it's because of that. And I was like, well, they all can be true, but you want to blame everything on someone else when we need to consider the fact that we are having babies when we're not ready, period. We're doing things around our children and saying things around our children that we shouldn't say. We're not making sure we give them that covering that they need so that they can grow old like us, um, so that they can have full lives like us. But instead, we want to say that the children need to be protected in the way like you, we shouldn't say anything negative about them. Nah, when they grow up like this, when they think that authority don't mean anything to them, They will go and tear up a Walmart. They will go and shoot up a neighborhood. They will go and shoot up their schools. They will go and rob banks. They will go and sell drugs. They will go and break into people's cars and steal people's cars. That's what they, this is what happens. It's not people just roll out of bed, ace students, and just say, oh, you know what, today I'm going to be a gangster. No, nah, it don't work that way. Some people try to do that. You know, so you have posers out there, people who have never done it before and not really built like that. When you hear that, are you built like that? It's some youngest that's really like that from the beginning. They're like that from the beginning. And it's unfortunate. Nobody's telling them no. No one's telling them no. And when they do tell them no, they tell them no in such a hateful way that the youngins, that's what they read. They read hate and they regurgitate hate. They give you back what was being taught to them. What we're seeing right now in this video is a mirror of what they're being taught. It's a play-by-play of what's being taught to them in their own households, in their own neighborhoods. This is cool to them. Honestly, all you can do is pray. You can go down there, you can try to discipline the kids and talk to the kids, but they're going to do to you. What, if they do this to police, what are they doing to their teachers? If they're talking to police like this, someone who comes around and who's considered the authority in the whole, in the whole neighborhood, in the whole city, walking around with weapons and have, you know, the green light to use any of those if if necessary if they're treating them like that and their family members are like no no are not like no leave that's the police leave them alone you know what i mean what ex- what exactly do you expect to happen when their mother tell them to do something or their father tell them to do so where's their father man if a strong man was in this situation right now um and people seem to be against the nuclear family oh i don't want to get married i don't want to be with nobody i don't want to be locked into nothing this is what's happening when you say i don't want to be locked in when you got that type of nut ass mentality that's what happens you don't have a strong man to be like Officer, my bad. I'm about to whoop this youngest ass. I don't even have to put my hands on my children. Didn't have to put my hands on my children for a great majority of their lives because I was there. Only thing I had to do was look at them. Look at them. That's it. They will give their mom some some back talk sometimes. Me, I just give give them a look. And I'm not even a big dude. I'm not even that big. When I had to put hands on them, I did. But I did it when I had to. But here's the thing. When you start talking about why their why are their father's not there and why aren't they being disciplined, there are a bunch of individuals in our country who will com- who will completely dismiss those claims and say, well, there would be fathers in the home if it wasn't for systemic racism, if it wasn't for you locking up all our black men, if it wasn't for all this other BS. And I'm like, yo, I'm black too. I came from the same neighborhood as you did too. I'm not an anomaly. I'm not an outlier when it comes to that. I'm just somebody who made decisions. And this keep on happening. Ridiculous ass people who never grew up even through adulthood and they end up making kids. They don't, they're not going to raise them properly. 
they still out there doing whatever they want to do that leads them to bad places like jail or you know the cemetery that was just painful for me to for me to watch for real